Hello everybody, this is TubeMix, or Will Evil Will Do, and welcome to something I've never done before, which is basically some of the highlights, the best bits on my channel. And I thought it'd be such a great thing to do, because 2022 has been such a busy year uh, on the channel. There's been so much, I mean, there's been the Pina Colada Festival, uh, which is my personal favourite highlight, or one of them. Um, and there was the... Um, Harry Potter um, Forbidden Forest Experience which I recently uploaded a few of the photos from that there was the Van Gogh exhibition um, and of course getting in contact with my good mate and friend of the channel Ben Moss as we look, reviewed The Power of the Doctor of course which was absolutely great fun um, so yeah, basically I'm just going to be going through not every single bit of uh, from the few months, but just a few little bits. Um, so including some of the tribute videos that I've done, because I've done a lot, because we have lost a lot of uh, great people from the world of showbiz um, this year. And, and well, lo lots of stuff, like I said, because it's... It has been a busy year. So, sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it. Oh, and of course, run the titles. So, as I said, welcome to Tube Mixer's Highlights of the Year 2022. So, time for my first moment. Well, I think it has to be, for me, the Pina Colada Festival. Um, so, you, those who know me personally um, will wonder, well, why, when you don't like alcohol, why would you go to a Pina Colada Festival? And... Well, it was just great because there was a steel drum band, so you'll you'll see some of the drumming that um, I I already uploaded um, part of the Pina Colada Festival. Uh, but I also well I did two videos, so I did uh, me doing links in between talking a bit about the Pina Colada Festival, so you'll see a bit of that, and then you'll also see the fantastic. Um, drumming which was brilliant oh sorry that there was drum but there was also steel drum band sorry uh, not the same uh, <laughs> got a bit confused there um, yes and yes we did hear Rupert Holmes's escape the pina colada song which the event was inspired by because you know someone thought oh do you know what let's do a pina colada festival and they did I mean you should have seen it there was giant cocktail glasses um, there was a uh, rides for the for the kids it was just and the weather was absolutely boiling as well um, it was just absolutely amazing so first a little bit from me talking about the pina colada festival and then you're going to see some of the fantastic drumming um, just a great atmosphere so hope you enjoy so we got there and it was really wonderful because it wasn't um, it wasn't busy, but there was a nice atmosphere. Um, really great to see so many people um, turned up. Now, if you listen to Claudia Winkleman's Saturday Radio Two show, um, you might have heard Claude mentioning about uh, the Pina Colada Festival. Um, and saying that she and um, Sally Bozeman or Sally Traffic, um, <laughs> Jackie Weaver um, and um, Sophie Ellis Baxter were all going to be there. Uh, they weren't there, but um, they didn't need to, Claude didn't need to be there because she, you know, done plenty of unofficial promotion. <laughs> um, for it really so uh yeah thank you Claude uh, for that and uh yeah if she had been there 
it would have been just absolutely mental because people would have been like, oh, Claudia Winkleman's there. And, you know, you can imagine what it'd be like. It would be bedlam, basically. Um, but now that it was lovely uh, to, you know, there were fairground rides there. There was a surf simulator. Um, all great alliteration, wasn't that? So you'll see some of that as well. Um, and uh, yeah, there was really nice things like a, a big balloon uh, decoration thing, a b balloon arch. I, I don't, I don't really know how to, how to, um, how to quite explain it. But, uh, but yeah, um, it was just really, really. <laughs> now for the Harry Potter Forbidden Experience, one of my most recent videos. Um, it was just absolutely fantastic and um, Warner Brothers are actually behind, you know, the, the team that were on the films did the effects and it was especially poignant as Robbie Coltrane had recently passed away. So hearing his voice as Hagrid uh, yeah, it was quite emotional going around the, the, the woods of, um, of, um, Arley Hall, Arley Hall. Yeah, that was it. And, um, yeah, it was just a, a, a fantastic thing. If you love Harry Potter and if it comes back, do take your kids or any Harry Potter fan because they would love it. They get to cast, um, a, a spell, you know, there's, um, it's just absolutely fantastic um, and uh, you you get to see the car that um oh is it is it a mustang um i i can't remember i do apologize but the the car that harry and ron are in it's definitely a ford car i'm pretty sure um yeah um and uh, there was well um spiders which were yeah, which is a, a little bit nerve-wracking, all these sorts of... Um, I, 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 I wouldn't call them animatronics, but... Uh, um, yeah, it was it was really quite nerve-wracking, but it was, it was so brilliant. And um, 
afterwards well obviously not in the video because you, you you don't want to see me eating away at uh <laughs> at uh oh what did i have oh yeah i had a I had a blondie i think yeah lotus biscuit blondie um and yeah oh and the and the village the village yeah they made it look like you were actually in the village from one of the one of the films so absolutely fantastic i do recommend if it comes back i mean i mean who knows maybe it'll be touring in london or somewhere i mean but um yeah but it was just absolutely fantastic so here again are some of those photos so buckbeak hagrid and the car that harry and ron uh, would when they were trying to get to hogwarts So, time for my final highlight of this. Look back at some of the great moments across the year on this channel. And for me, one of the best moments is, it's all thanks to my sister, really. I've got her to thank. And someone she knew, knew uh, Ben Moss, of course. As you know, Ben did, uh, did Series 11 reviews of Doctor Who with me. And... Um, of course recently did the power of the doctor but it was the first time in five years that we'd done um a video together and actually before that you know we had we lost contact uh, but it was all thanks to my sister and uh, to do a video with him is great but to, to just have him back as a, a mate is just absolutely fantastic we just picked up where we left off and it's just absolutely fantastic and um and well you'll be hearing uh, ben's voice as part of uh, a montage of people to uh, wish you uh, a happy christmas basically um at the end of the video uh but first here's well another chance to see some of my review the power of the doctor with ben moss enjoy here we go then right hello everyone and welcome to uh, the tube mix youtube channel then uh, yeah it's great to be back with another video and for the first time in four years the man the myth the legend mr ben moss is back hello everybody you I see, you see, I had, I, I had to give you a build up, you know. You, you, you're back after four years, so. Oh, don't build me up too much. I don't want to regenerate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. So, uh, how, how are you? I, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Oh, it, it, it's, it, it's good. It's good to have you back. I, I didn't think we'd get you back on the channel, but uh, no, hopefully this is the first of many. Of many uh, videos that uh, to have you back because yeah I've 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 missed you. I've missed being here myself. It's um yeah it's a pleasure to be back and uh, what a time to be back as well uh, with Power of the Doctor one. Oh yeah special. absolutely. So first of all, the, what 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 were your thoughts on the Power of the Doctor then? Uh, I'm going to be honest. Um, I think it is the best regeneration episode we've had since the revival. Um, yeah, and that that's that's a big thing, isn't it? That's a big statement. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I thoroughly stand by it. Um, obviously, we're going to go into this a bit more, but yeah, uh, I, I just think it it's the most feeling like a classic Doctor Who regeneration, a a proper regeneration, no big build up. It's just an adventure. Our Doctor sadly just didn't make it through this time. Exactly, um, yeah, because of course we have to remember, and I said this in my Instagram live, that in the classic series, the regeneration, although the papers, we knew whoever playing the Doctor was leaving, the regeneration, it was it was treated as quite a low-key thing, which is hard to imagine when, of course, the regeneration nowadays tends to be treated as it is the big event. Um I've got to admit, I've been 
getting quite bored of the whole big event thing. Yeah, um, I, I'm because... getting a bit bored of the pro. That there has to be a prophecy, and uh, yeah, it yeah. does seem like it's treading over old ground a bit. Mm. So kudos to Power of the Doctor for not doing that for a change. Um, uh, so yeah, no, uh, I think it's it's the most in keeping with the mythos, and we got a Doctor who went out on a smile and um, looking forward to seeing what happens next. And yeah, did you? Was... Did, oh, but did you not think? Because obviously Jodie, uh, the thirteenth Doctor, got that warning: beware of the forces in your master. Did that not? make that prophecy though come true though uh, it seems that Chibnall even forgot about that prophecy so I think I can ignore it for this episode at least um, but yeah no he kind of was a prophecy Chibnall seems to have the smallest brain possible as we'll find out um... yeah no it, I mean I mean the, the benefit of this episode is it's great to watch in its in a, in a small vacuum because he pretty much forgets everything he's set up, which yeah, is, it, yes, oh kind dear. of a bad thing, yeah. but makes it a good special to watch yes. on its own. Because it's not connected to The Timeless Child. It's not connected really to any of the other plots. No. It's just a celebration. Yes. Uh, and I think I think that's why it's the best. Well, that's just about it for Tube Mixer's Hearts of the Year 2022. But before we go, some special messages for some familiar voices I'm sure you'll know. So, all that remains for me to say is to wish you a happy and peaceful new year, and all the best, and goodbye. Hello everybody, it is Jordan here, or JLI Wills, and I've been asked by Tube Mix or Will to send you all a Christmas message. So, here we go. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody, hope you uh, have the best Christmas possible, spend time with your family, have lots to eat, lots to drink, get some good presents, that's what it's all about, and all the best for 2023, and uh, yeah, see you guys in a video soon, hopefully. Okay, bye. Hello everyone, and I just wanted to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. It was brilliant coming on to the channel to do the review of Power of the Doctor, and I hope to see you all in another video again very soon. But until then, have a great Christmas and a happy new year. Love to you all. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Hope you all have a good Christmas and a good new year. Hope 2023 is a great year for everyone. I hope you have a good Christmas and a happy new year. 2022 has been up and down year. Here's to 2023. A good uh, year, hopefully. Um, look after your family. Look after your loved ones, uh, because you never know, you know what what could happen. But have a good Christmas, everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm Chloe Hicks, and you may recall that I joined Will to do some live streams reviewing Dot Two. I just wanted to wish you all a happy New Year and all the best for 2023. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Um, I hope. Uh, Everybody has an amazing 2023, um, yeah, and a fresh start for everyone. Um, yeah, and I hope this year brings you all the, lots of happiness and um, brings lots of joy to people. Um, and yeah, here's to a new year. Go and make the most of it, everybody, and yeah, enjoy yourselves. Take care, and remember... Life is meant to be lived. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.